In this video we will introduce the main concepts of the embedded software development workflow in Vitus. Vitus is the integrated development environment for developing software that targets Xilinx products. Vitus is based on the Eclipse open source framework and includes several Xilinx specific components for project management, make file generation, profiling, and boot image creation, among others. One way to think about how Vitus is structured is to view it as two separate parts, a front end and a back end. The Vitus front end is the user facing side of the program, with which we interact while editing source code, adjusting project settings, scripting, and debugging. Most of the interaction with Vitus takes place via a graphical user interface, but a command line is also available and can be used for scripting and automation. The Vitus backend includes all the tools required to convert our design entry, that is, source files, project settings, linker scripts, etc., to the executable binaries that we can use to program our target device. There are three main tools in the Vitus backend. The compiler takes our source files in C and C and converts them to assembly code. The compiler first runs the preprocessor, which performs substitutions through include and define directives, and then performs the actual conversion from high level C and C code to assembly. Vitus uses the GCC compiler for ARM processor targets by default. The assembler takes the output of the compiler and converts it into unresolved machine code. Unresolved refers to the fact that each pair of C and C++ source and header files is handled by the compiler as a standalone compilation unit, independently of the rest of the sources in our project. The linker takes the machine code and resolves all the symbols across compilation units and external libraries. It then creates a single executable file that we can run on our target device. Vitus uses a workspace-based approach to managing the files in the file system. A workspace is a folder that contains the output products and temporary files that are generated when we build our projects. It is possible, perhaps even common, for the workspace to contain the actual source code and project files, but this is not a strict requirement. It is possible to import sources and project files to a workspace while referencing them from their original location. In a typical scenario, a Vitus workspace will include at least three projects, each of them contained in its own folder, a platform project, an application project, and a system project. The platform project contains two elements, a hardware element and a software element. The hardware element is the hardware specification for the processing system, which has been generated by Vivado in the form of an XSA file. The software component includes a board support package, an operating system, and boot components. The combination of a board support package and an operating system running on a processor is referred to as a domain. The board support package is a collection of drivers that provide access to the peripherals available in the processing system, as well as to memory mapped modules in the programmable logic. A Vitus application can be developed for one of three operating systems bare metal, free Artos, and Linux. A bare metal domain contains no operating system and the application code is executed directly by the processor. A free Artos domain contains an infrastructure for creating and scheduling tasks, passing messages between tasks, and coordinating access to common resources, among others. The application code is implemented as a collection of free Artos tasks. Finally, a Linux domain allows the application to run on a Linux-based system. The generation of the actual Linux system image is not done by Vitus, but by a Linux build system like Yocto or Pita Linux. The boot components include the resources for generating a boot image for a system project. An application project contains the actual application that we want to develop. It includes the source files and the linker script that can be given to the backend tools to generate the binaries that will run on the target device. A system project groups together one or more application projects that can run simultaneously on the hardware. Standalone and free Artos domains can only support one application project at a time, while a Linux domain can run several applications at once. 
The Vitus development workflow starts by importing the XSA file generated by Vivado. The XSA file contains the hardware specification, including processors, memory mapped peripherals, and memory configuration, among others. From the hardware specification we create the platform project, which contains one or more domains and boot components. We then create the application projects that will run on our domains. When we create the first application project in our workspace, a system project is created by default. The application project can be completely empty when is created, or we can use one of the project templates provided by Vitus, which includes some functionality right out of the box. Once we have written the code for our application project, we can build it. Building a project means going through the compilation, assembly and linking process to generate the executable files that we can run on our target. Once our project has been built, we can test it on our hardware. For the early stages of the development process, this is usually done with the help of the debugging tools integrated in Vitus, which interact with our target processor through a JTAG interface. However, it is also possible to run our project on an emulation environment within Vitus, in which case no hardware is needed. Finally, after we have validated our application on the target hardware, we can generate a boot image. We now have an application that runs automatically after the hardware is powered on, without any external intervention. Let's look at an example of how a Vitus workspace could look like for a Zinc Ultra Scale Plus device. The platform project includes three different domains, a free Artos domain running on one A53 processor core, a standalone domain running on one R5 processor core, and a Linux domain running on one A53 processor core. System Project 1 contains two application projects, mapped to domains 1 and 2, respectively. System Project 2 contains one application project mapped to domain 2. This is supported because the system projects are independent from each other. Finally, System Project 3 contains two application projects running simultaneously on the Linux domain. The hardware specification is common to all system and application projects. In this video we introduced the embedded software development process in Vitus. We started by discussing how Vitus can be viewed as having a user-facing front-end and a tool-driven back-end. After that we talked about how Vitus uses workspaces to store platform, application, and system projects, and what each of those do. We then discussed the Vitus workflow, starting from the hardware specification file generated by Vivado all the way through to the generation of a boot image. Finally, we looked at an example of how a Vitus workspace could be structured, with one platform project hosting several domains, which in turn supports several combinations of application and system projects.